Sashiko, it's a form of decorative stitching from Japan that can be used to bring new life to old clothes and wardrobe pieces. Here to help us do it and really explain the whole thing to us, we have Tess Post. She's the owner of Beehive Sewing in Northampton. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Nice to see you guys. Hi, Tess. Hi. Have we been pronouncing it wrong the whole time? Well, it, is, it does come from the Japanese, and okay. so many people say sashiko. That would be a, a, the way to say it. Um, it's spelled a couple different ways, but it's very popular now, and it is a form of Japanese embroidery. So if you look at some of the samples, you'll see that really what it's made up of is straight little running stitches. So traditional embroidery um, can be a little bit daunting for some folks because it may involve a lot of color changes and a lot of different shapes and different stitches. Cruel embroidery is another word that you might hear for traditional embroidery. Uh, but sashiko is really accessible to folks because it is so simple. Mm -hmm. So let's do a little bit of it here. Sure. You'll see in the samples, these samples took just a few minutes. It's a really great way to kind of make something that is otherwise very minimal and simple, very sweet and very interesting. And Tess, the one that we just looked at this, I saw you do it before the show in probably 15, 20 minutes. I would say maybe five minutes. All right. Don't you think? <laughs> no, I, I don't want to. I'm not selling I'm She's sure. saying if it were you that were to do it, she'd maybe it'd be Maybe 15 about. minutes. That's very, very quick. Okay, so what are our tools? Our first tool is going to be sashiko needles. So I'm going to show you some sashiko needles. They're different from traditional sewing needles because they've got a bigger eye and that can accommodate the thread. Okay. The thread is the other thing that we're using that's a little bit thicker. It's sometimes called pearl cotton. Uh, each of you has a needle that already has some thread on it. So, so is this like embroidery thread? It is embroidery thread. Okay, yep. and that's Sometimes. part of the reason why I don't like to sew is because I can't get the uh, the thread stitched, or, or what is it called? Through the eye of the needle. It. Yeah, so it's sometimes called embroidery floss. They do also have um, needle threaders that you can use for these larger eyed embroidery needles. I should get one. Uh, the first thing in Sashiko that you might notice is that because it's all these straight lines and geometric patterns, what we like to do is draw the pattern onto the fabric. So that means that we might do it with uh, a chalk pencil, we might do it with a charcoal pencil or a regular graphite pencil. And we're gonna be embroidering on the back side of our fabric. Okay. If you buy a sashiko pattern, uh, it may come on transfer paper so that you can just transfer it right onto the fabric. And when we are stitching, the key is really just to make sure that you're doing these tiny little stitches. Mm -hmm. So this thread isn't just for friendship bracelets. <laughs> <laughs> I've got so much of this That's thread, right. like, I have to make so many friendship bracelets. Where's my friendship bracelet? I haven't made them because I'm overwhelmed. Well, I'm upset. Now you're going to get some Now sashiko. you can do something <laughs> with sashiko. Uh, so what you'll see here is that I just drew the Peacock logo for Mass Appeal, or NBC, WWLP, yeah. NBC Peacock logo. And then when you flip it over, you begin to see that image. Or it's a fluffy cloud. Or a flu I was kind of thinking it looks more like a fluffy like cloud right now. Yeah. <laughs> now, you said earlier we do a running stitch to do this. In absolute layman's terms, is that the up and down and up and down up stitch? Up and down, in and out, That's the most basic lines. stitch. That is it. And okay. what's nice about this stitch and about Sashiko is that you can do this very quickly because you don't have to form each individual stitch the way that you would if you were hemming a skirt, for example. So we're just going to go in and out. And what we try to do, and this takes a bit of practice, is make the space between the stitches about twice as big as the stitches themselves. Oh. So I'm going to do about six stitches and pull my thread through. And then you can see on the other side how nice that looks. And if you get really good at it, you know, you really can just do these, you know, these nice running stitches and these beautiful geometric patterns. And what can you do with it afterwards? Afterwards, you can use it in things like a throw pillow, or we've got a little sample here of a drawstring bag that you can embroider on. This is just a little uh, drawstring bag for coins or uh, some makeup or what have you. But you can put a decorative little, um, you know, kind of design on it. Yeah. Uh, so all kinds of things. Now, the interesting thing about sashiko is that it, someone told me that it came about in the 16th century because there was a class of folks in Japan who were not permitted to use heavily embroidered beautiful silk fabrics. And indigo, the dark blue indigo fabric, was the fabric that was reserved for folks who were kind of working class. And what they did in order to embellish their fabric was begin to do this hand embroidery. Interesting. And it was a way of saying, you know, we want this beautiful fabric. We deserve to wear nice things and have these lovely things. 
and um, this is how we're going to do it. And it really kind of stuck with um, with us. Ashley, so yours looks that's great. Really, no, it, it, I feel like I'm, I'm failing. Oh wow! Kind of. Did you no, actually? You're doing do this. great. And what you'll see on Ashley's is that you know her stitches are a little bit on the larger side. <laughs> and again, that's something that if you were sitting, you know, in a rocking chair with a cup of tea and you had the rest of your afternoon, oh, it sounds like a dream come true. You would have some time to do some really tiny little stitches. Yeah. Um, but you know, to do it real quickly, you might do some bigger stitches. So, Sashiko. 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 Either way, Either way, it's a it's whole lovely. lot of fun. Thank you so much. Uh, definitely something to put on your to-do list when you have yeah that glass of sweet tea and, and you're sitting on your rocking chair on your large exactly. porch. Exactly.